welly, welly, well, well. Hello, my dearest friends, and welcome to a brand new installment of the best goddamn Jallo show on the planet, The Jallo Room. Today, I have quite the treat for you. So get your prosthetic arms and cheese sandwiches ready because we are taking a trip to Spain, yes, for a Spanish entry into the world of Jallo. This one's called Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll and stars Spanish legend Paul Nashi, who also co-wrote this dandy of a film. Now, I was going to chat about another film, but since the gentleman of Academia Jallo recently spoke of this film, I figured we can talk about it here as well. Sort of a companion piece, if you will. So join myself and Senor Nashi as we begin the film in northern France, yes? Are you jealous? I'm not the same as my sister. Son of a bitch. He wasn't satisfied with just killing her. Gouged out her eyes. The blue eyes of the broken doll. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Doctor. We need you down at the morgue. He's committed another killing. The blue eyes of the broken doll. The Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll with Paul Nashi, Diana Lorries, and Maria Pershi. The Broken Doll. Now, what can I say about this film other than nothing really happens for about an hour? Other than an ex-convict and his sweaty gardening sweaty hot sex, an amazing cheese sandwich, and a whole lot of scenery chewing. Still, I rather enjoy watching all of these odd characters establish themselves before the actual murdering begins. And once we finally arrive at the first glimpse of the killer, we are treated to some really inspired fun. You see, this killer has a penchant for collecting blue eyes from his lovely victims. Personally, I have a bit of a fetish regarding keeping my victims' eyes open while I carve into their bodies. But that's just a preference thing for me, you see. I'm really not trying to discriminate against the manner in which the killer in this film collects blue eyes. It's quite inspiring, really.
While I won't go into too many spoilers for the film in case you have not seen it for yourselves and maybe would like to experience it someday, I will say that the film takes some rather unexpected turns and twists as Inspector Pierre and his brilliant mustache does his best to figure out who the murderer is. The film has its fair share of red herrings, black gloves, eye trauma, an absolutely bonkers score, some psychosexual fever dreams, a murderer whose motivations are born from the death of a loved one, and an amazing cheese sandwich. You see, this one is for those who have exhausted the Italian Jolly catalog and would like to see something from a different country. Sadly, no J and B in this one, but goddamn, what an amazing death sequence. Anyway, if you are looking for a fun little Spanish jalo with a hell of a twist ending and a quirky soundtrack starring Paul Nashi in his prime, Carlos Arnaud's Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll from 1974 might very well be up your alley. You might still find a used DVD on eBay or in Blu-ray form in the Nashi collection released by Screen Factory a couple of years ago. I would only recommend it for the astute Jalu connoisseurs in the house. You really cannot go wrong. Well, that is my time for this episode, my friends. I hope you enjoyed my brief little foray into Spanish Jalu territory. Join me next time when I will be talking about an obscure little treat. Until then, I bid you arrivederci. Thank you for watching. Grazie. Cokes, please. Right, honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs>